What's up, Saggies? It's West Coast Tarot with your January How Do They Feel About Me love reading. This is for my lovely sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading and may not resonate with every Sagittarius. Um, but if you do like my style and I vibe with you, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, um, I do offer personal readings if you're interested, and I always list every deck that I use below. So if you are interested in any of that information, um, all the details are down below. This video is specific to those who have made a connection with the person and do not know where they stand. Um, maybe you're having issues in your relationship. Um, maybe there's no communication. Um, Maybe you're vibing with some, but someone, but just don't know where you stand with them. This video is for you. So let's go ahead and begin. Just break the deck really quick. How they see you. We're going to see how they see you, what they're showing you. We're going to find out all that good stuff. Okay. So let's see what they're showing you first. Okay, we have five of coins. Um, so, Sagis, this person may have set you aside. Um, maybe you're feeling like you're left out in the cold right now. This person, um, they may be showing you that they're enjoying their life without you and you're looking from the outside in. Um, this person might be someone who's more focused on their money more so. There's a lack of equal give and take here, a lack of unbalance here. They might not be treating you in the best light. Um, this person might be, I already said more focused more so on money, but there, there's an element of selfishness here, okay? So this person might be making making you feel um, left out, um, might be more cold to you more so, and they're having this appearance that everything is okay. But let's dive deeper into that. Spirit, please clarify five of coins for my lovely Saggies. Please clarify. Thank you. Yeah, there might have been a past um, hurt or an ending that you guys went through. And now this person's trying to make it seem like everything's okay. Um, you know, they have been hurt before. They have been really hurt before. And this facade that they're putting on is just trying to show you that they're okay and they're doing better than you. Um, there might be some sort of element of where they're in control of the money and there is a split and they're not sharing what they should be sharing with you as well. But I feel like this is an act due to this hurt Um you know, whether they hurt you or they experienced hurt, this person is putting on this act that they're fine, everything's fine, and they're making you feel left out. And that's where they stand right now with what they're showing you. How they see you is eight of coins in reverse. So they see you as not wanting to put any more work into this relationship, um, not wanting to invest any more time or any focus on this relationship. Um, you may have at once put, given this relationship all you had and always tried to um, make it work, you know, for the long run. But now they know you're no longer want to invest time into a situation, whether it was with their with your romance life with this person or um, in an other area or avenue of business. Spirit, please clarify eight of coins in reverse for Sagittarius. Thank you. Yeah. So you made a decision and now you're waiting for this to see this to come into light and to see fruition for 
for what you did, you know, waiting for progress, waiting for your boats to come in. <clears throat> so you did all you could do, Saggies, and now you're just waiting to see if anything will change. Um, so that's how they're they're seeing you. Like they know you're no longer willing to put as much effort into this as you once did. But I feel like they know you're waiting for something to change or something to come better into your life, okay? How they feel about you as a whole, we have the Empress. This is very beautiful energy, okay? This can also be Taurus or um, Taurus Libra or Aries energy as well. So they really feel as a whole, you're just a warm, loving person, you take care of business. You nurture everything around you, okay? You bake cakes. You, you know, you just make sure everyone has a full belly. Anything that you come in contact with, you give it all you can do and with so much love. And this is such a positive note. This is how they see you, okay? Let's clarify that a little further. Spirit, please clarify the Empress. Oh, too many. Oop, my cards went flying. Let me catch them all. Okay. Let's fix this and we'll get rolling. Spirit, please clarify the Empress for my lovely Sagittarius in regards to how this person feels about them. So we have the Hermit in reverse. Um, this is Virgo energy, okay? So they also feel that you may want to come out of um, Hermit mode with them. So maybe there was a lack of communication or a, a break, and this is because you retreated, Sagis. So you retreated. And you went to focus on what needs to be done, contemplate on things that really need to be reviewed in your head as far as moving forward in this relationship. So now you may have taken a break and you might want to come out of this break period or they're desiring you to come back to them. So they could be wanting you to return to them because they know you're such a loving person, okay? What they like about you is <laughs> Knight of Wands. So they love that fiery energy, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They like that you're down for whatever. Oh, let me just get a sip of coffee. They like that you're just a bag of fun more so. So they miss all the excitement, all the adventure, all the passion that you brought into their life. They miss that about you, okay? Um, and that's what they like about you. And they like that you were their, you know, you lit the fire in their life um, more so. Spirit, please clarify Knight of Wands for my lovely Sagittarius. <clears throat> and I have four of Wands in reverse, so... You know, there. at times you might have just been all over the place or, how do I say this, like, they liked that you weren't always the perfect person. Like, it was okay to make a mistake. They liked that you, you know, not that you're unstable, but <clears throat> they like that you're just down to live life to the fullest and they really enjoy that about you. They desire to just be through all like the craziness as well. Um, you made them happy. Like they, you're always a good time. They can just celebrate with you. They just miss your fiery nature. And this is again, four of wands. This is fire energy. And they really love that about you. What they don't like is Knight of Blades. So at times you may have made quick impulsive decisions, um, charging in before you actually thought things through, okay? 
Um, it could have really annoyed them. Sometimes maybe you were careless. Um, spoke what you wanted to, you know, you would speak what you wanted to say regardless of, regardless of people's feelings, okay? So they did not like that at times you were very quick to act, very impulsive to act, and not always thinking things through. Let's go ahead and clarify King of, I'm sorry, Knight of Blades a little bit more. Spirit, please clarify Knight of Blades. Knight of Cups. So maybe you're too quick to give your offer of love to, um, maybe you were too quick to offer your love with them. Or maybe you could have, see how this knight is looking elsewhere, looking away. So maybe they felt that you gave your love to someone else or you steered, you went towards another person. Um, they could have found messages between you and another person or vice versa. And But I'm feeling more so that um, you are no longer offering your love towards them. Like, I feel like right now you're taking all of your emotions, you're taking your cup, and you're what you don't like about them, you're moving on from. So I feel like you're no longer willing to, you know, offer this person your cup. You're taking your offer and you're going away from this person. And they don't like that you're looking the other way now. Um, there might have been a lot of hurt there, okay? Um, actions or actions this person towards is choosing to make towards you or moves. I have the justice in reverse, okay? So I feel like, you know, although justice upright is fairness, balance, um, having what you deserve come towards you, um, you know, just pure justice. I feel like this is unjust. So if I, this is for the month of January. So I feel like, um, things may not be what you want. Things may not be favorable, favorable this month. Um, unfair more so. I'm going to clarify that a little bit further though. Spirit, please clarify justice in reverse for this person. For my lovely Sagittarius. <coughs> Too many. Please clarify justice in reverse. I feel like this person might feel like they can't make their way to you and that's not fair or you won't be considering their offer and they're not happy about that. Ooh, way too many. Way too many. Just want one. <clears throat> and I feel like they they feel it's it's unfair to them. <clears throat> Spirit, please clarify justice in reverse <clears throat> for my lovely Sagittarius in regards to this person. Yeah, <clears throat> they feel it's not fair that they're not going to get the recognition or the success with this relationship. Please clarify Six of Wands, Spirit. I feel like they want to work things out, but it's it's for the month of, um, yeah, Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this. They want to put work on this, and they want to make it successful. They want to be recognized by you. They want to be seen by you. But with the justice in reverse there, this is telling me for the month of January, it may not come into fruition. So it may be something that takes a lot of work. Um, in order for this to be fair and right and just, they're going to have to put a lot of work into this, okay? Because you're, you are not settling for anything, I feel like, Sagis. And if they want recognition from you, if they want you to forgive them, you're not putting up with nothing, okay? You want them to put some work into this relationship, okay? And this is Pentacles. This is Capricorn, Virgo, Virgo Taurus energy, <clears throat> So I feel like, you know, they do view you in a positive regard, but just right now, um, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get some 
guidance from our lovely angels because the angels always have our back and they always offer beautiful insights. Let's see what's going on. Angels, what can you tell us about this relationship for my lovely Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Oh my gosh, I need to finish my coffee for my lovely Saggies. In regards to this union, in regards to how this person feels about them for the month of January. What can you tell us? Let's cut this stick. All right, angels, messages for my lovely Saggies. What should they know? Okay, I have two that just popped out, but I'm not taking them. <clears throat> Did I lose a card? No, I got it. Okay, messages for my lovely Sagittarius, please, for the month of January. So separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So some of you may have just separated or currently, or are currently separated this, from this person. And it might be for the best. I feel like there needs to be a lot of rest and recovery, okay? I feel like a lot of you just need to get down to the person who you are and take a rest from this person. Even though there's a lot of love here, okay? There's a lot of love. Um, sometimes you guys have to take some time apart. And I always, I just keep hearing that song, Everybody needs a little time away. I heard you say. I'm so tone deaf this morning. Okay, what other? Oh, all right, here we go. You guys, there is a lot of attraction there. You attract the romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So maybe by taking this separation and taking a break from this person, they will find you more desirable. There's a lot of attraction there between the two of you. Okay, they really, like with that Knight of Wands there, they really like your fiery energy. Um... What other messages do we have for the month of January for my lovely Saggies? But I just feel like, you know, you're not settling for anything less. And if they do want to fix this with you, if they want this to be successful with you, they're going to have to put work in, okay? What other messages do you have for my lovely Saggies? Angels, what else do they know? chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here <clears throat> so some of you guys feel really like tied to this person there's like a magnetic pull um you feel like you can't break away from this person <clears throat> you're attracted to them but just right for right now um you know separation like i said whether you're going through it you are on a separation um, it probably was for the best in order for you to regroup and become grounded and be able to make the next decision in your life in regards to this. You guys are tied together with chemistry. You guys are attracted to each other. There's a, a connection there, but it just looks like you're not willing to accept anything less. And that's, that's for the best. That is good. Um, I, I really wish you guys love and light. I hope things work out and we will catch up on this next month as well. Um, so please like and subscribe, and I will catch you all on your next video, Saggies. Blessings.